What's up, gamers? GamerDad here, back for another item shop review. It is Thursday, August 1st, just past 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Canada, and we have an item shop refresh. Want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thanks so much for your support, and without further ado, let's get the review. So first off, the My Hero Academia outfits have returned to the item shop. Here is the All Might bundle, featuring All Might. It's got two different styles. It also has a built-in transformational emote, which allows you to switch between the two styles in the match. Then we've got the Principal Nezu Backbling, the All Smite Pickaxe, and there's the Symbol of Peace emote. 2200 V-Bucks for that bundle. We've also got the Class 1A bundle featuring the Aizuku Midoriya outfit. This outfit has two different styles. We have the built-in emote here. It was odd, actually, that in that All Might bundle, they didn't show the actual built-in emote. I was getting confused myself, and now that I see it here, it's even more confusing, but... You can uh, swap between the styles for this outfit as well using the built-in emote. So we have the All Might collectible back bling as well. And it is reactive. He poses as you get eliminations, which is pretty funny. Here's the Katsuki Bakugo outfit. Also has two styles. Then you get the grenade backpack back bling. Clearly goes well with the outfit. Then we have Ochako Yoraraka. Yoraraka. One's a little more tough to pronounce. It's just got the one style for this one. And then you have the Yaravity Booster back bling. So it's 2,800 V-Bucks for that Class 1A bundle. Then we have the Class 1A gear bundle, which includes the Black Whip Axe Pickaxe, the Cluster Buster Pickaxe, the Yaravity Smasher Pickaxe, and the Hero Analysis Emote. 1,500 V-Bucks for that bundle. Now you can pick up any of the outfits on their own. And you can get that gear on its own as well. Next up, we've got the League of Villains bundle featuring the Himiko Toga outfit here. You can turn that mask off, or take the mask off, I should say. Then we have the Tomura Shigaraki. You can also take that, you can put the hood on for this one, or you can have it off. Then we've got Dabby. Just the one style for Dabby. We have the Transform Containers back bling. The Nomu Jr. back bling. Then we've got the Blue Flame Lighter back bling. The Hemiko Toga's Blade pickaxe. The Decaying Scythe pickaxe. The Blue Flame Sickles pickaxe. As well as the Toga's Glee emote. And then we've got the D-Pad Decay emote. 3,800 V-Bucks. That is extremely expensive. Yes, there's lots of stuff in there, but wow, that is quite the price tag. You got the Himiko Toga pack as well. So that is 2,000 V-Bucks. It includes the back bling, her emote, and the pickaxe there. And similarly, there's a pack for Tomura. Back bling, emote, pickaxe. Dabby has a pack as well, including the back bling and the pickaxe. Those are all 2,000 V-Bucks. Then we got the Shoto Tod Todoraki bundle here. Outfit has two different styles. You have the Cold Heat Wings back bling, the Cold Hot Hitters pickaxe, the half cold, half hot emote, as well as the cold burn flyer glider. And lastly, we've got the UA uniform wrap. Nice looking wrap. 2400 V bucks, otherwise, you get any of the items on their own. Then we have the Karishima and Ashido bundle here. It's 2800 V bucks. It includes the Mina Ashido outfit, which has two different styles. Then you've got the Pinky Pack back bling, the Acid Axe pickaxe the Culture Festival Dance Emote. Then you have the Aijiro Kirishima outfit here. It's got two styles. You also get the Red Riot Shield back bling, as well as the Red Riot Thrasher's pickaxe. 2,800 V-Bucks for the bundle, otherwise you get any of that gear on their own. Above this in the item shop, we've still got the company bundle, which is that employee outfit. Then below this, we still have the Deadpool and Wolverine outfits the new ones as well as the deadpool mashups and the gear we've got the pirates of the caribbean outfits the star wars stuff is still here the item shop is absolutely packed here's a bunch of icon series emotes including the jump rope jig they're all 500 v bucks here's the flow the crow the no the row the bro then we got savage fast beat And Bim Bam Boom. Next up in the signature style category, we have the Hot Air Bundle.
featuring Twisty. These are definitely pretty goofy looking outfits. The Lego styles look pretty good considering the oddness of the outfit. And we've got Bendy here. There's Bendy's Lego style, spot on. Then we got the Bendy Inflator back bling. As well as the Twisty Inflator back bling. Then we got the Flimsy Flail pickaxe. And finally, the Breezy Emote. 2,000 V-Bucks for that bundle. Otherwise, you can pick up those items on their own. We've also got the Nalia outfit in the item shop this evening. She's just got the one style. There's that Lego style. It doesn't look, it actually looks pretty good. Then we have the Amano's Heart Bundle here, featuring Cross Heart. Just one style. Lego style, spot on. You also get the Hollow Glow Back Bling, the Break Heart, Break Heart Blades Pickaxe, the Swoon Sail Glider. Two more items. We've also got the Blushing Red Wrap. And finally, the Cross Hearts Arrival Loading Screen. It is 1800 V bucks for that bundle. Otherwise you get the items on their own. The outfit comes with the back bling. You cannot pick up the loading screen on its own though. Next up is Maven. I kind of like this Maven outfit actually. I think it's kind of unique. You got the techie back bling there, 1200 V bucks. Here's Ruby, definitely like the Ruby outfit. She's got lots of styles. You got this chill style, the colorful style, and finally the pastel style. All of them are pretty good. The Lego style is like totally spot on. Then we have the red alert back bling. It's got the Feast of Lights option, as well as the Pastel. So this one, let's see what the price on this one. This is about, it is actually 1200 Okay, so it's 1200 V-Bucks. Next up, we have Haze. Haze is a cool outfit. We've got this Extreme option, the Auric Haze, and the Tough Luck Haze. I like this one. Lots of styles, though. And it's a pretty good price at 1200 The Lego style looks great. Then you get the Ridgeback Back Bling, which includes the Golden Talon and the Burnished Claw as alternate styles from that default. 1200 V-Bucks is definitely a good price for that one. Here's Manic. Manic also has lots of uh, styles. You got that Punk, the No Mask option here, and the Viridian Manic style. And this one is even cheaper at 800 V-Bucks, so definitely a good price there. Next up, we've got Bright Storm Bomber. I like this first, first style. Not a huge fan of the second style myself, though. Then we've got the Lego style here, and the Gordo Back Bling which also has two styles. It's got the Stormy Corn option. It's 1,500 V-Bucks for Bright Storm Bomber. We've still got the Boss Obsidian Bundle and Outfit there. We've got that Road Trip uh, soundtrack. We've got Dystro, Werewolf, Peregrine TT bundles are still here in the same old car gear. We've got that Level Up Quest Pack. Same festival gear. Doesn't look like there's any brand new jam tracks. Metallica, who's getting sick of Metallica here? Jeez, at least take it up for a few nights and like give us our eyes a little bit of a rest. So it looks like the Lego items. Um, they've got the Anarchy Acres bundle back here. It includes this Sunflower outfit. At 800 V-Bucks. You got those. Uh, we got the Festival Passes. And in terms of brand new packs, there is nothing brand new this evening. So the item shop is ginormous here. There's lots of stuff here. My Hero Academia people, I know people have been asking about that lately, so I'm sure there's lots of people that are happy about that one. If I was to pick a, a favorite, it would be a little bit tough. I like the Ruby, I like Haze, I like Manic. Heck, I almost like every outfit in this row here. Either way, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item is. Let me know if you're picking up anything for the shop tonight. I want to give a shout-out to all those who use my creator code. I do greatly appreciate it. I'll be giving a couple shout-outs tomorrow night. Um... Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you haven't used my creator code, please do so. I truly appreciate the support. Have a great evening. Until the next video, this is GamerDad out.